dears and welcome back to WP Event Manager. In this following tutorial, we are going to explore together auto sync guest data in HubSpot CRM using when you created option from the backend. So my dears, if you're interested, let's start our tutorial. So guys, for that first, we need to get our token. So we need to log in into our HubSpot CRM account and go to our settings section here at the left side menu, we have our integrations. We need to go to our API key here and here we need to click on this go to private app button. Okay. And here we need to create a private app. So. Let's click on create a private app. So first we have our app name. This is just a random name. We can generate another one and we need to give a brief description to our app. So let's give a brief description to our app. For example, an interactive app for everyone. So basically guys, this was our basic info, as you can see, uh, from the button and now we're going to our scopes. This is our scopes here. We have CRM button. We need to tick on the box whether we want them to be read or write. Okay, this is how we can do it. And now we are going to click on create app and create our app. Okay. So here it will provide us our token. We need to click on show token from uh, after which we would be able to copy our token and use it. So now we're going to our event manager platform and here on the event manager dashboard guys, you can find our HubSpot CRM. We're going to here past our token. So let's pass it right now. And after passing it, we need to click on save settings. Okay, so after read your screen must look like this. Here we need to select HubSpot CRM audience list type. So we have, as you know, various list types, but this time uh, we'll go with test list. Then guys, we need to set HubSpot CRM contact owner. As you can see, uh, I have already set mine here. And then after setting your contact owner, we need to select create module record or create an update module record. We'll go with the first one. And then we need to select HubSpot CRM syncs type. We have two syncs types, auto and manual. We'll go with auto and we need to select HubSpot CRM syncs via when you create it. And after it, we need to click on save settings. So guys, now we're going to create a guest, but before creating a guest, we need to create a group. That's why we need to go to our guest section. And from here, we need to choose add group button in order to create a new group. Here, we need to give a name to our group. So let's go for example with HubSpot. Then we need to give a brief description to our group. Let's give a description, for example, an interactive group for everyone. Then we need to select an event. So let's go with social media marketing and then we need to select fields for guest information, guest name and guest email. Then guys, after this things, uh, we need to click on add group button in order to create a new group. So let's click on it. Our group is saved successfully. Now guys, we are going to create our guest. On the guest section, we have add new button. So here we're going to give a name to our guest. Okay, let's go for example with Henry. Then at the bottom, we have guest list group data. We need to give our guest name. It was Henry. So let's fill the fields. Okay, and then we need to provide our guest email. Okay, at the bottom, we need to select an event for which our guest is going to be created. It was social media marketing and the group that we have created together. It was HubSpot. Then we need to click on publish. Okay, our guest is ready. Now guys, we are going to our HubSpot CRM account. 
So guys, from here we can see that our data has been sent. So this is our Henry. This is our guest. So my dears, this was it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you will have any questions concerning to our video or our product, you are free to ask them in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like our videos and also hit the notification bell. See you in the next tutorial.